This morning on Take It Off Today, shedding half their body weight. It's truly an amazing feat, especially for people who have struggled their entire lives to lose weight. And in a moment, we're going to meet three people who did just that. Their stories are featured in People Magazine's annual Half Their Size issue. Galena Espinoza is the magazine's senior editor. Galena, good morning to you. Good morning. Last week, we met three people on this show who had lost half mm -hmm. their body weight. Today, we're going to meet three more. Yeah. What is it about these folks that makes their, their stories so unique? I think the fact that they are able to do it on their own. You know, we get used to seeing reality television versions of how to lose weight, where people go and spend time in a special camp, and they have trainers and nutritionists. Well, and don't knock that too much on the NBC. Absolutely. That there's something good about that, but... <laughs> no, absolutely, but for most people, it's, sure, not, it's realistic. not realistic. These are people who, in their everyday lives, spent years working it in, figuring out how to eat again, how to exercise, reprogramming themselves. Exactly. And if they can do it, really anyone can. As you pointed out, they've done it through diet and exercise, the old-fashioned way. And it's a lot of hard work and a lifetime commitment, and I think that's the inspiration. So let's get started. We have a before picture of Brandy Blackburn, who is 25 years old, from Virginia. She lost 177 pounds from her starting weight of 340 pounds. There she is before. Brandy, we cannot wait. Come on out. <laughs> <laughs> she looks, you look fantastic. Thank you. How do you feel? I know you used to be self-conscious about your body. Oh, it's amazing now. I'm a totally different person since I've got the weight off. You know, in fifth grade, I understand, you already weighed 200 pounds. By the time you graduated high school, your heaviest weight of 340 pounds. Why do you think, now looking back, that your weight spiraled out of control like that? I had awful eating habits. I never learned like good nutrition and good eating value and, and I never worked out. And I'm from the South, so eating is a way of life and we all enjoy it. And, and we I all just, like it fried down there oh, too. Absolutely. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Double, Double fry anything <laughs> down there. And I just never learned those really good core values of how to eat well and work out. And once you started uh, working out, exercising and dieting, it took you two years to reach your goal weight. Were there moments along that path where you thought, you know what, I'm not gonna be able to do this? Because everybody has plateaus and Oh right, but I found I found a really great um, support system at SparkPeople.com that helped me really get through those tough plateaus and keep going. And I know that a lot of people don't recognize you. Best moment you've had so far since you lost the weight? Easy. We were at a company dinner and one of my husband's co-workers walked in and thought my husband had remarried because really? I looked so different. <laughs> wow. So my husband or you were the girlfriend that no one knew about, right? Yeah, I thought that was a secret <laughs> from someone. Well, you look fantastic, Brandy. All right. And how long have you been able to keep it off at this point? I've been about this weight for almost a year now. That is great. Yes. All right. Congratulations Thank to you. Thank you so much. We're going to check out a before photo of our second half their size individual. This is Deanna Cantu, who is 51 years old from Texas. Deanna lost 191 pounds from her starting weight of, get this, 333 pounds. Deanna, come on out. You were so tiny. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, my gosh. And there was a point, I, I mean, I'm sure it is still fresh in your mind when you were so large, really. You couldn't fit into the conference chair at work at all. No, no, it was very disconcerting and depressing. Yeah, so how do you feel now? Oh, I feel fantastic. I can do so many things that I've always wanted to do. I, I'm a golfer, so I can golf and I can walk. As you saw the picture in People magazine, I was climbing, <laughs> rock climbing with my boys. They were astounded. Mom, you're really going to try this? I'm like, yeah, why not? I can do it now. You know, you had thought about gastric bypass, I but did. it was your dental hygienist who said, no, she turned you on to Jenny Craig. <sighs> That's correct. Now, why did the Jenny Craig program work for you, Deanna? Well, I'm not a cook. Uh-huh. Oh, you so don't cook at I all? I don't okay. cook. And I, got, I gained weight eating junk food and eating out at restaurants. I ate 5,000 calories a day. That's the equivalent of what two grown men eat probably in a day. Well, and not exercising at and all not, to boot? No, no, totally sedentary. And so Jenny Craig worked for me because the food is so good and easy to prepare and the personal consultation. I needed the support system. The hardest thing for me was humbling myself and asking for help. But that's what I needed, and so the food and the consultation worked for me. I've been on it for two and a half years. Wow, and I know you didn't jo join a gym at all. You decided, no. well, I don't need a gym. I'll just do my exercise I at just home. walk. Austin is so beautiful, the hills, and I just walk. And, and she's got two boys who keep her active. And speaking of her two boys, we want to introduce our, our last folk person here, 16-year-old Michael Cantu, who is Deanna's son. He did not lose half his body weight, but he did lose over 100 pounds from his starting weight of 270 pounds. Michael, come on out. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Unbelievable. Hard to believe he was ever overweight. Yeah. Can you even remember? 
No, no. not really. It's just a blur. Well, you were, you really, what happened was you were in New York with your mom, right? And she said, yes. let's get on a scale. You did. Were you shocked when you saw that your weight was 270 pounds? I was pounds? very shocked because I didn't even want to look at the scale before that. I didn't really want to know what I weighed. Like, I knew I was heavy, but I didn't want to measure it. And you did it with lean cuisine meals and you add, supplemented with fruits and veggies. Was that hard for you? Yeah. It was hard at first for the first few weeks when before my stomach shrank because I was feeling very hungry. But once I got past that, it was very easy to stay on because I felt full. And let's bring in your mom and Brandy back again. But in the last few seconds we have, what advice would you give to folks who are looking at you going, wow, it's unbelievable, but I wouldn't even know how to get started? This is a lifestyle change. It's not a quick fix. It's not a quick diet. You really just have to be committed to overhauling your entire life and get committed and stay committed to it. And anyone can do this. As a woman of a certain age, anyone can do this. I know the age, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Brandy, Deanna, and, and Michael. Congratulations Thank to all you. of you. Galena, thanks for bringing their stories to us.